What we're exploring is what happens when a woman is at the top, when everyone wants her to be able to do everything and do it perfectly. Carol Danvers has a new uh, television show and it's called Captain Marvel. You see the fans, you see the signs, it drives her all nuts. Captain Marvel is out there, one, because there's such fan excitement about knowing more about Captain Marvel, but fundamentally she's doing it because they need the money for Alpha Flight. It's a licensing uh, issue that is going to pay the budget of keeping Alpha Flight in space. We made her commander of the Alpha Flight station, which is this space station orbiting Earth that is supposed to be Earth's first line of defense. There's an alien refugee crisis. Earth has had to set up refugee camps. These refugees are also being attacked, and we don't know why. And that's something that Carol really takes to heart because her mission is not only to protect Earth's inhabitants, but now she has the responsibility of protecting these new aliens. She comes to care for a refugee child named Bean. The way Bean speaks is through mirror language, so it makes Carol talk, and it's sort of interesting what they get to. We discover this spanny hunter named Mim, who is, for whatever reason, going around and kidnapping these Hala children. For Carol, Mim is someone she can't really get a handle on because Mim is also a shapeshifter. Mim can shapeshift and look like Carol. Carol is trying to face Carol, and there's a lot about Carol that Carol doesn't want to face. But that's her MO because she's a soldier. She's going to tough it out. And because she's a woman, she knows there are great sacrifices to being a powerful woman. <laughs>